Hey, what's up guys, Modern HD here, I'm walking to episode 3 of my ultimate team series, Stick or Twist, and I know this episode has been a long time coming, but I have been focusing on career mode with York City because we did manage to get promoted to the massive Premier League, and that it really spurred me on to go further, get some transfers in, and I was really looking forward to doing some uh, transfer negotiations with some clubs. And uh, anyway, we're going to be uh, touching on this now, stick or twist. Um, if you don't know the concept, you probably want to look back in the description of the previous episode. I'll leave the description again uh, of what's going to be going on in this series. But anyway, our fitness is a bit low in the team, but we come up against this gold team. I'm still trying to get the foundation right for this team, okay? You need to have sort of that chemistry sort of base in your team. And that's not what I've been going for. And I sort of realized that and I said to myself, we really, really need to focus our coins that we managed to earn in these games on trying to get a, a good base for the team, just trying to look to get high chemistry, get the right players in the team, and then uh, then pushing on to get higher players, and then we can do the risk and reward sort of situations. But I did the mud at HD. I think I have the right to say now that I am the worst at playing the ball out through the back. Uh, it happens to me so much, but what a goal there from uh, Gamma there. Wow, uh, wee wow. And this team was only a gold budget team, and gold budget teams, I, I feel, are the best teams. If you did see my BPL review, my my team wasn't that good. It was, it, okay, it had some valuable players in it, uh, but it was still not good. And you, you feel that very, very uh, much budget teams own Ultimate Team, I feel, personally. Um, and it's really non-rares can do the job for you in these games and sometimes you just feel more enjoyment when you have a team that isn't going to, you expect going to win and then you just don't win anyway and you have the uh, the, the disappointment that you're not going to win. Uh, but anyway, this team was just too good for me. This guy owned the game up. I was looking for a bit of a handicap but uh, it did unfortunately not come uh, sadly to my hands and uh, it was just really a big mashup and uh, luckily we had Sirigu in goal even though they hit the post and crossbar twice and it was kind of a, a death match really and I was losing every single battle. Since as I had a bronze defence and we had a 51 rated defender it was just not going for us and I'm not surprised we got beat at such a large amount but I was hoping we did have some other chances um, that are uh, good. I think it's... Um, I don't know what my striker's name is. I haven't touched upon this. Uh, but Jafwan, that's his name. Jafwan has been very disappointing. He hasn't scored yet. Um, and I'm depending on bronze players to try and get goals. And you see here, I'm trying to sort the fitness out of the team. It's very, very poor right now. And uh, I have to go out and use some of my fitness cards, which uh, I got in the bronze packs in uh, the previous episode, I believe. And that's the team that I ended up uh, sorting out there and put a CDM in centre-back. And we put, uh, I think that's Buxton, uh, the left-back from Sheffield Wednesday, um, in centre-back as well. And he's a pretty decent player as well. We I definitely put him in there because of his pace and he can get back. Uh, because pretty much you got to look to get back. And we came up against this guy here and was hoping to get a win. Because I needed money uh, budget uh, from winning the game, which was 1,000 coins, to go out and make a foundation for this team. And I was looking to do this uh, as seen as he only had Shane Long. But uh, there we go, the mudded HD trademark there. And oh my days, what is going on with me? I'm not going too well at the minute, am I? And um, I don't know, I was shrugging off a bit of a, a downer day, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, we got a very, very lucky there. One of the silver strikers that I pulled out, one of the bronze packs, uh, managed to put a nice finesse shot away there. A very nice uh, chance taken by him. And uh, hopefully that will sort of uh, allow me to do better things in this team rather than having Jafuan. All that pressure upon him. And uh, you see here, Jafuan, he's great. He's got good strength. He's got good pace. But he just cannot finish. And it just comes down to me getting very, very angry with him because I paid money for him and he just can't put the b ball in the back of the net. But Shane Long here, he's got mounts of pace and just can't, you cannot catch up with him with bronze defenders. And we got extremely lucky there. I don't know how he got past two of my defenders, but then. Uh, I can't even say that guy's name. If you guys can pronounce it, I'm I'm going to be absolutely surprised. Fedja, Fedja Vuzu, um, um had sort of a chance, but it was well wide and. Yet again, Sirigu saving our bacon yet again. 
and uh, it, luckily we 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 had the counter attack on us. And you see here, Feza Fezzula, Um Oh my God, this is going to kill me trying to pronounce this guy's name. But he he managed to use his pace. He didn't have the massive amounts of pace that some of the players do on Ultimate Team. But he manages to outpace this, the bronze centre backs and get in behind. And uh, he's not going to miss from there really one on one with the keeper. And then I had to go in with the sweaty goal with better booze. And he's been very very decent since he signed him. <coughs> Sorry about that. But he's been very decent. He's been getting into good positions, trying to get the volleys off in the wide positions as well. Um, but you see here, I'll go for the chip. I don't know how the keeper kept that one out. But uh, for some reason, it went with the chip as well. And I did not hold the left bumper there. Um, people have been saying you hold the left bumper when you go for them shots. Well, I don't. Um, definitely don't do that. But we managed to get uh, promoted. So we had that extra bit of money anyway. And I don't have any rules right now. Uh, for getting promoted, I don't think they're quite necessarily is necessary. I'm only going on wins and draws and losses right now. But I went out and tried and signed a gold centre back. He had decent pace. But then I went out and got some facilitating players that I could put in the team. And I got this CDM here. Excuse me. And uh, left mid as well. But I didn't realise I forgot about that other centre back. Uh, the, that I had masses of pace and I didn't realise that I actually won that auction and I had another player so I was thinking how am I going to get my way around this I've spent about 1,200 coins and um, so I decided I'm going to leave that uh, 60 pace uh, centre back I think his name is Sherud or something like that and I'm going to put, put him on the uh, leave him in the club right now and when I win another game or if I draw I can bring him into the team I think that's uh, completely fair not really any limitations to that at all he's still in the club he's not a benefit me at all but anyway we're in a division four and that brings better opponents I hope and you see here right in the um oh my days I cannot believe I came up a team but I had hope because they had he had a very slow back four and indefinitely it really really helped but he had a very strong front line but you see here the pace really helped in the left mid that we just signed up he really powered past the defenders and I don't know why he didn't just go across goal there. That would have been an automatic goal. But it didn't matter because Daniel Mendes got played through here. So Evra trying to catch up to him. And a very, very bad finish there. Oh my days. How did he miss such a chance? I guess he had pressure on him. But you see here... This guy was very, very wide sensitive. He just wanted to bring that keeper out. He just didn't want to concede any goals. And he was trying to pull me, try and make me take the shots. And I was just trying to not, just trying not to, to just feel the, 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 the motivation to just go, right, I'm going to just hit it. And it doesn't work with players that I have right now. But after that goal, he decided, I'm not having this anymore. My, and the centre back managed to score. No, they're not the centre back. The CDM managed to score. And uh, we managed to get the win because the guy DC'd from the game. Um, D D DC'd is dis disconnected. I do play PC games. So uh, if you don't know what that means. Um, but anyway, we, we had that 1,000 budget. I'm taking that. Um, if anyone disconnects and I'm winning the game or, or, or if I'm not even winning it, if someone else disconnects and it's not my fault, then I'm going to take the 1,000 coins. And there we go. A striker with, that we're going to bring in is Montagno. And uh, this guy, he's, he looks like a beast. I believe I used him in my FIFA 12 uh, Road to Glory. I'm not totally sure, but I'm hoping that he's a beast. And he's going to be matching up with Jafron. That uh, that guy, I just, I just put him on the uh, sidelines because I just couldn't say his name anymore. And and uh, we go out and we play up against another B side there. And I saw David Luiz and I was like 100%. This game is going to be so hard to get in behind defenders. David Luiz just has everything in every single FIFA that he's been in with Chelsea. He's just been absolutely the ultimatum of all defense, uh, defenses. But uh, for some reason, he was having an off day. And you see here, Montagna gets played through a nice 1-2. And look at that finish there. That must have been one of his first touches for the club. And a very nice finish to slot him under the keeper. And we managed to go 1-0 up. But we weren't done there. A very nice cross here. Oh, my days. How did he, uh, Gaffron not get his foot on that? But then he makes up for the mistake. And he manages to sort of just off-balance shot that into the back of the net. And now we're 2-0 up in this uh, game. And I was surprised. And then I was even more surprised that my CDM has scored twice in two 
games here and he's an absolute monster he's all over the place but I'm hoping he can really fill out in that CDM spot and a great save there from Sirigu as well but you see here one of the best goals that we scored so far this season uh has been from Budaboos what a strike there from a very difficult angle right in the top left hand corner hats off to you son and very well done and we managed to win, win that game 4-0 and that guy just couldn't handle the the the, the sheer ability of uh, the handicap on him there. And uh, we had another 1,000 uh, 1, coins as I sat, uh, decided to stick on what I had. And uh, probably next episode I'm going to start taking more risks. And uh, I'm going to start going out. But uh, there was two players I wanted for left back. Tremor Linas or Maxwell. And I decided Maxwell because he has the better defensive ability. Okay, he doesn't have pace. But he's very, very good. And he, I think he's got a good free kick on him as well. So maybe we can do some nice little, little intricate uh, free kicks. But uh, we had another uh, 500 as seen as a... Uh I think Maxwell only cost us 500. I went out and got a, a bron, a, a brogn oh my god, this is gonna kill me. A, a brag, oh my god, I'm not, I'm not gonna even say, that. I'm gonna try and learn, I'm just gonna get lessons, just trying to pronounce the footballers' names. But, uh, Obregniak, we went out and signed him as well. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna end the episode here. But anyway, if you guys would like, I've been wondering in my mind whether you, wh how would you like these episodes? Would you like to see goals only? Or would you see highlights as well? Um, I'm not totally sure right now, I'm trying to sort of, uh, I, I don't know what the word for it is, just trying to make this series just right for you. And if you have any queries about the, uh, the, the series, I have been having a couple of doubts in my mind about the series. Uh, whether I should just go out and do my journey to the top Ultimate Team style, I'm not totally sure. Um, it's still in my mind whether I should do that or not. Tell me in the comment section, guys, because uh, I'm not going to do something that you don't totally enjoy. And if you want me to do sort of a, a Road to Glory-esque, then, uh, then that's fine, because I wouldn't mind doing one. As seen as uh, Nepenthes, he started a, a, a proper Ultimate Team series, and I've been watching that, and it's been absolutely awesome. Uh, but anyway... Um, if you guys don't hear from me, I'm going to take a bit of a break from YouTube, kind of, I'm going to be on and off, but there will be some v vlogs, hopefully, over Christmas, and uh, I wish you guys a merry, merry Christmas, and, uh, and maybe a happy new year, you don't know when you're going to hear from me next, but anyway, I'm, I'm glad you uh, are enjoying the series, um, but anyway, I'm going to have to end the episode here, guys, so... Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video as well as more other content. Please go check that out. And one more note if thank you so much for 200 subscribers. I appreciate it so much. Uh, it happened before the world ended, so I'm so happy for that. And uh, thank you guys so much. So uh, I'll see you guys next time.